Well, I want to thank uh, everybody who's here for what's been an excellent conversation. Uh, not just about this particular facility or this particular state, but how do we make sure that the VA is working for every single veteran who's put on a uniform and uh, has made enormous sacrifices on behalf of our country's security uh, and freedom. Um, you know, we all know that there have been significant problems uh, at this facility. Uh, that the kind of cooking the books and unwillingness to face up to the fact that veterans were not being adequately served uh, went on too long. And as a consequence, we didn't fix what needed to be fixed. Uh, what I'm glad about is since Bob McDonald uh, working with uh, Deputy Secretary Sloan Gibson uh, have been able to do is to start making some progress and chipping away at the problems here. And we've brought in uh, a new team that has been tackling these issues uh, to make sure that uh, wait times for scheduling, uh, access to providers uh, is greatly improved. Uh, but what we know is that there is still more work to do. Uh, and this discussion allowed us uh, to hone in on some problems that continue to crop up uh, and as a consequence will allow us to fix them. I want to thank the members of Congress who are here. Uh, all of them have expressed uh, great interest in how the CHOICE Act is being implemented. Uh, this legislation uh, that Congress moved forward provided a lot of resources for us to be able to hire more uh, clinicians and, and, and uh, to beef up uh, the services that are provided in many of the existing uh, VA centers, but what it also did was for folks who have difficulty getting to a VA facility, uh, it gave them the possibility of getting uh, a private sector provider uh, for their care. Uh, there have been some concerns expressed about whether that information is getting out to veterans uh, as effectively as it should. There's some specific issues of implementation with Senator McCain, and Senator Flake, and, and uh, uh, Congresswoman uh, Snema, and, and, and all the members of Congress here uh, described. Uh, what I've committed to is making sure that we implement uh, the Choice Act uh, promptly and effectively, uh, and that some of the concerns that have been raised uh, are addressed. Uh, and uh, I know that uh, Bob is committed to that same thing. Some of the other issues that were expressed uh, of concern revolved around mental health issues uh, and suicide prevention. And uh, this is an area that uh, there's been great bipartisan work on, but there's still more to do. And I think there were some very positive suggestions uh, that were received about how we can make progress there. Uh, and the, the final issue that uh, I heard a lot about today uh, is the need to restore trust uh, and confidence in the VA system. Uh, you know, trust uh, is one of those things that uh, you, know, you can lose real quick uh, and then it takes some time to build. Uh, the good news is, is that there are outstanding folks here at this VA and uh, in all the VAs across the country uh, who are deserving of trust. But uh, it's important that uh, veterans know that somebody's got their backs uh, and that if there are problems that we're not being defensive about them, we're not hiding them. We're working together with the outstanding DSOs uh, and uh, other organizations around the table to fix them. I think that process has begun, uh, but we've got uh, more work to do to make sure that there's a culture of customer service and there's enthusiasm and excitement and a sense of purpose and mission about serving our veterans because that's the kind of attitude that they brought to bear uh, when they were out in uh, theaters of war and, and, and serving our country. Uh, and that's what they deserve every single day, up and down the chain. So uh, I'm, I'm very grateful to everybody for uh, uh, the, the input that they provided. Uh, last point I would make, uh, although we spent a lot of time talking about areas of needed improvement, uh, although we are, are very pleased that uh, uh, you know we've got uh, a outstanding uh, former uh, 
uh, CEO as, uh, from the private sector as well as a uh, veteran uh, in uh, uh, Joe Robles, uh, who's going to be heading up our advisory committee uh, to address some of these issues and, and work with Bob and, and Sloan around uh, what we're calling my VA. Um, although we know that uh, more problems will crop up uh, because that's inevitable in an organization this long. Every veteran who I talked to here today uh, emphasized that when it came to the actual care that people were receiving once in the system, uh, it was outstanding. Uh, that there were great doctors, great nurses, great staff who cared deeply uh, about uh, our veterans. Uh, and obviously a lot of those doctors, nurses, and staff are veterans themselves uh, and understand the, the sacrifices that uh, our veterans have made. So um, there are systems that have to be fixed. There, there's uh, management that has to continue to drive uh, a, a renewed sense of purpose uh, inside the VA. Uh, but we can't ignore that every single day the VA is doing some outstanding work uh, to provide care uh, to our veterans. And, and, and that's not, uh, I think, spin. That's something that we heard directly uh, from uh, a lot of veterans uh, around this table. And uh, we want to thank uh, everybody at the VA who's been doing their job and doing it well. Uh, because just be, uh, this, uh, the fact that there have been uh, a few bad apples, some, some mistakes that have been made, systems that aren't uh, designed to uh, get the job done. Uh, I don't want that to detract from uh, the outstanding work uh, of a lot of people inside this organization. So uh, thank you very much, everybody, uh, for uh, what was a terrific conversation and uh, your outstanding input. And I want to especially thank uh, the members of Congress who are here who, in a bipartisan fashion, uh, have uh, been constructive, stayed on the case, uh, and have allocated resources to make sure that this problem gets fixed. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.